one uh, letter is pretty longish and uh, I don't have to do much on this. He has already done a decent job. So let me give you his facts. I want your opinion whether I am on track for my financial goals. And before that, uh, let me tell you, I am a great fan of yours and regularly follow your vlog in on YouTube. It would be great if you can do evaluate my portfolio uh, like you have done in your other uh, YouTube vlogs. Okay, here he goes. I am a 37 year old. Uh, my, my wife uh, is a housewife. We live in Bangalore. My income is about 51 lakhs per annum which is about 3 lakhs per month in hand. My monthly expenses are 30k of rent and 50k other expenses and I uh, invest the remaining 2 lakhs per month in an uh, SIP. I have a total savings of about 1 crore invested in shares and equity mutual funds and 10 lakhs in emergency funds. I have a house in Delhi where my parents live and a flat in Gurgaon from which my parents get a monthly rental of about 30k per month. I have a 1 crore term insurance and a health insurance plan for my family. My parents are retired government servants and get a monthly pension and hence are not dependent financially on me and they will not be. See, this is very important. Many people don't understand that at uh, 62 or at 65, if your parent is not dependent on you, it does not mean that they are never going to be dependent on you unless they have a nice indexed pension. Because they are well, if they are living off fixed deposits, etc., those fixed deposits could get destroyed by inflation. Whereas uh, your pension does not get destroyed by inflation. Uh, creating a rental income, your parents have done a good job, but please understand that uh, collecting rent and all that is still a headache, and that tenant will say, this is not working, that is not working. So, real estate, uh, one more problem which I have with real estate is it requires some attention and some maintenance. I am not saying mutual fund in portfolio does not require maintenance, but this is headache, right? Getting a carpenter to fix, getting an electrician to fix, or that guy may not pay rent. Every tenant you get may not be the best, right? So, they could create some problems saying, uh, this is not working, that is not working. Do you want all that headache in your 70s? That is the question also we have to answer by creating a portfolio of real estate. But here one, one house getting 30k rent is fine. I don't have any plans to buy a house in the near term. I have a 5 year old kid and do not plan to have any more children. My plans are I am targeting a retirement corpus of 1 million US dollar as per your blog which is about 7, 7.5 crores. Hopefully a combination of compounding and disciplined investing will help me reach there. I do not plan to upgrade my lifestyle further and hence will be investing all my increments, hikes, bonus for retirement. That's fine, but you have not said which industry. If you are from the tech industry or from the BFSI or you are a pilot in, uh, in an aircraft, you know, there is always a chance that suddenly one day you will lose your uh, job. You, it's very, very difficult to predict what will happen. So, what you are doing, I like what you are doing. You are investing two-thirds of your take-home pay, which is a nice number. And um, of course, going forward, that percentage will only keep going up. If you get a 1 lakh rupee increment, you will put extra 1 lakh into investing. So, <coughs> the process is good. Any suggestions, opinions? No, not really. You are done well, you have taken care of. So, make sure that your parents, if they are central government servants whether they, and if they live in Delhi, good chance that they will be covered by medical, uh, government medical. So, I seriously don't know. My wife wants a second child. I don't want to have since it will delay my retirement further. I believe in working hard and enjoying life at the same time. Considering that my job, sorry, he said his job is in IT and it is not usually secure. I do not want to depend upon my employer heavily in my 40s. Uh, looking forward to your views. Uh, Madhur, what you have done is good and uh, I don't see any great thing. But if you have, let's say you have your own uh, medical insurance, that's great. Don't depend only on your employer's medical insurance. Check out when your parents will want to move to some place near where you are. Uh, I mean, Bangalore is more friendly perhaps for them also, but uh, if you are planning to move to Delhi or they are planning to move to Bangalore, because uh, 
once they get older if you are in your uh, 30s good chance that they are now in their 60s it is easier to move at, in your 60s and 70s in your 80s you will be forced to move and delhi is very cold during winters uh winters are harsh on older people so look at that but other than that i think you're going fine you i'm presuming that you're you uh, you are sensibly choosing your equity funds you've not mentioned that and i'm happy you've not mentioned i wouldn't have added any great value to that so i think uh, madhur you've done a good job and uh, it's good there's no no great uh, tinkering that i need to do thank you